going on, Jerome? So the Minnesota Fun Vikings have been looking for a wide receiver three uh, for a while because you got Jefferson, you got Addison, and you know the hope was someone internally was going to step up and rise, or the Vikings would I don't know have to go get Adam Thielen. Ah. Who knows? But uh, Jalen Speedy Naylor uh, could be that dude who steps up as a wide receiver three. And through training camp so far, he's kind of getting that little bit of separation, pun intended. Uh, and, of course, Naylor, 2022 six-round pick uh, out of the Michigan State University. Now, he, he used to catch passes from Kurt Cousins, uh, a Spartan alumni. And now he, he catches passes from J.J. McCarthy, stupid Wolverine. I wonder if they got issue with that. Mm. Uh, 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 oh, well, at least McCarthy's not thrown to Ohio State guy. There you go. But, yeah, uh, wide receiver coach Keenan McCardle pounded the table for Jalen Naylor uh, during the draft. And, like, so far when he's been on the field, when he's been on the field, uh, he's contributed nicely, uh, mainly on special teams. And you, you love the attitude, you know, humble enough, hardworking enough to contribute on teams. And hopefully he could grow and show into something as a receiver. I uh, had a nice touchdown against the Packers uh, in 2022. But last year, uh, injuries just weren't great and sort of put him behind the eight ball after looking very, very good at OTAs. And this year, uh, again, the song remained the same, really good at OTAs and has been one of the stars so far uh, through six practices at training camp and knocking on all the wood. Uh, hopefully Jalen Naylor can stay healthy and continue to get after it because he's been super impressive. Uh, he's been a favorite target of both Darnold as well as J.J. McCarthy. And it, it does seem like he – is separating as truly the wide receiver three of the Vikings. And, of course, uh, this 100% had to come from Kevin Conn, right? So, Al Calusi Athletic, uh, you know, today in a notebook, uh, put out, internally, the Vikings have been stoked uh, about Jalen Naylor's performance so far. I mean, that's got to be Kevin O'Connell, right? Southern California, 6'5", surfer dude is like, oh, we're, we're stoked about, about Jalen Naylor, bro. Man. Uh, also, Jalen Naylor, who has had... Injury issues going back to Michigan State uh, has been a lot, been putting in a lot of work this offseason to try to mitigate that. This is from uh, Damian Zatani Pioneer Press yesterday. Uh, quote, Kevin O'Connell talking. When he's been out there, he's made plays consistently. Talking about Jalen Naylor. Uh, he's proven that he is a football player. He is what he is as a football player. Uh, it's not a question of that. It's just a matter of can he be out there. So basically, that that's the nice new age Kevin O'Connell way of Zimmer's can't make the club in the tub. Yes, yeah, same notion, a different delivery. Uh, that's something that Naylor tried to take into his own hands this offseason. Uh, he knew he couldn't uh, keep doing the same thing he had been doing, so he switched up his workout regimen, uh, taking up Pilates and yoga as a way to push himself outside of his comfort zone. Quote, I had to take a whole different approach, he said, just trying to have more flexibility to limit the injuries. Uh, he got the idea from watching veterans like Josh Metellus work on their bodies. Uh, I'm seeing what he's doing off the field and trying to implement it, that into my game, a Naylor said. Uh, Metellus's workouts, just trying to make sure I can be available. And that that's really is the name of the game for uh, Jalen Naylor, where he, he does have all of that talent, but just can't stay on the field, right? And, and that's what the frustrating thing is, too. Plus, you, you see this, too, where you have college athletes coming in, and even though there are big-time programs, you know, may, maybe the diet's not the best, maybe the workout regimen is, isn't really catered to specifically what they need, but in the league, I mean – if you're not on the field, you're not going to get those paychecks uh, long term. Uh, you're not going to get that next contract. You're not going to get that big contract. So it, it does matter. So finding what works for you, uh, finding what's going to keep you on the field and healthy and, and also really good recovery wise, it's important. And I'm glad that Naylor uh, is taking the bull by the horns here because he does have this great opportunity because I think pretty clearly – he is wide receiver three on the Vikings right now with Jefferson, Addison, Naylor in 11 personnel. It's generally been them with the first team, and Naylor's look really damn good. And I think that he complements Jefferson and Addison well. Jefferson is obviously Jefferson. Addison is obviously Addison. Uh, but Naylor, uh, he, I, I don't think that he necessarily takes away from what uh, J.J. and J.A. do. Uh, but uh, Naylor, I, I think he supplements well. He can play inside. He can play outside. He can play the X or the Z. Uh, he can take the top off the defense. Uh, he can get crazy separation in a phone booth. And I think that he certainly will be an asset uh, moving forward. But like, like we said, just has to stay healthy. And that's been the major, major thing. And I think that he's made great strides uh, as a player. Uh, the coaches are obviously uh, in his corner rooting for him. Uh, I think that the receiver room loves him. So, plus he knows. Like, he, he was all smiles after first pad of practice on Monday because he, he understands. Actually, no, this is Saturday. Uh, but he understands that this is a golden opportunity for him in year three. Uh, he's been growing and showing in this offense. Uh, he, he's got the support of the coaches. And now, just... 
got to stay healthy. And it could be an opportunity where, hey, in that wide receiver room, I mean, Jefferson's going to be doubled. Addison's going to be uh, out, out there too. But, I mean, Naylor, uh, the Vikings love them some uh, wide, uh, some uh, 11 personnel despite wanting to run the ball more. Naylor could put up some serious numbers, man. I'm pretty excited about it. But, again, just stay healthy. Just stay healthy, man. Uh, but uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, J- Jalen Speedy Naylor, uh, Viking super stoked, about 83 and 24. Uh, let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section below. You guys are the best thing you know what to do. Skull production value. <laughs>